Good morning, everyone. Tuesday, December 2nd. Um, another day off for me. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday today. So not too much going on in the house today. I do have an eye doctor appointment to pick up my new glasses. And I don't know that I'll ever let you see me in glasses just because I hate myself in glasses. It's another one of those things where I cannot stand getting older. But um, all I'm doing this morning is making some breakfast for me and the pup. So two eggs for me, one for him, and yes, that is an entire tomato. I told you before, tomatoes are my weakness. I could just sit and eat one tomato every day. So my toast is in the toaster. I love oatmeal bread. So that's all that's going on today. Um, yeah, I probably will let you see me in the glasses then. In fact, you know what, I'll put them on right now while my eggs are cooking. I only need them for distance, so I only wear them like to drive my car and to watch TV. Um, but I'm starting, I've gotten to that age where I'm starting to need them for reading. So these are like three years old. And I hardly ever wear them. Again, I wear them when I go to the movies. I wear them when I'm driving. Unless I have my sunglasses on, which are also prescription. Um, but now I'm having to get progressive lenses. So they are the new ones I'm picking up today. And they're totally different from these. These, like, you really can't tell that they're on my face from a distance. But my new ones that I'm picking up today are, like, super, super dark rim. So totally different look for me. And it's raining again here. Second day in a row of nasty, nasty rain. Yesterday I didn't even do it darn thing with my hair. It just looked like a giant fur ball just because of all this nasty weather. But um, we're getting day two and since I do have to go to the doctor's office, I better curl my hair today and look a little better. So yeah, day two. This is our dreary, dreary South Central Pennsylvania weather. Blah. Oh my god, I seriously have no motivation to do anything today. This weather has me in such a funk. Oh my god, I want to move to Florida. Please let it happen. Even my dog doesn't want to do anything today. Look at that. That's all he's doing. He's laying here and he's snoring. I'm spending my day watching YouTube videos and he's spending the day snoring. This is ridiculous. The sun needs to shine. I'm well, hey everyone, I'm on my way to the eye doctor to pick up my new glasses. My little boy is with me. He likes to go on car rides. I don't know if you can see him or not, because I might not even be holding the camera on him, but yeah, he's down there in the seat somewhere. Um, so anyway, he likes to go on car rides. No, he can't go in the eye doctor, but I'm only going in there to pick up the new glasses and make sure they sit on my face right, so I'm not going to be in there but a few minutes. And it's not like it's freezing cold here. It's probably, I think it's like 45, 46 degrees here. The weather sucks. So right now I'm crossing what is supposedly our beautiful Susquehanna River. Um, but again, because of the time of year, everything is just dingy and gray. And it's going to be that way till like the end of April, beginning of May now. So I need to switch hands. Hold on. Okay. I don't like doing this while cars are passing me. Hold on. What do people think? that YouTube vloggers are freaks when they do this in the car. But anyway, I'm on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and I just have one question. When we um, moved to Harrisburg, which is like a year and a half ago now for my job, I didn't change any of my doctors. So I am still driving back to York 25 miles each way for all of my doctors. Do you guys like normally change your doctors when you move? Because if you have one that you really, really like, like how do you how do you leave that? Especially like my optometrist, she is just incredible. If you live in the South Central Pennsylvania area, it's Dr. Nancy Harold, and she's located in Mount Wolf, Pennsylvania. Um, she is the best optometrist I have ever had, and I'm just not leaving her. Um, and because I work for an airline, I'm to the point where I can live anywhere in the United States and I can fly for free. I'd probably fly back to Pennsylvania no matter where I live just to have her as my optometrist. I know some people use places like Sears and I don't even know what some of the other, like, is Pearl Vision still in business? Um, I just never trusted those places. You only get one set of eyes. I'd like to keep mine, even though I have to hide them behind glasses now at this point in my life. I don't want to do the contact thing. Um, I just, I don't, I never trust those places, even though they may be cheaper. 
but I, I love my eye doctor and I'm willing to drive however long it takes me to get there to keep my same doctor. So anyway, that's where I'm heading um, and I will have the new glasses on when I come out and I'm going to donate these while I'm in her office. She takes donations of old glasses for those less fortunate and can't afford to buy their own. So I always donate my old ones. And then I think I'm going to hit the Dollar Tree because I go right past it on my way home. Um, so we'll see what bunnies I can pick up there. Okay, be back soon. Okay, so here's the big reveal. New glasses. And they're definitely different than my last ones. And hey, you need to you need to get over in your spot. Now, this is not safe. It's bad enough that I'm using a camera while I drive and then I got a little mutt climbing on my lap. Dude, really? So anyway, a lot different than my last ones. Um, and this is, I have progressive lenses, like I said, in my sunglasses. But this is the first time I'm dealing with progressives in my regular glasses and Wow, I think it's going to take a little bit for me to get used to because my prescriptions are definitely stronger in both areas. Um, so hopefully no headaches. Um, you know what it's like to get used to a new pair of glasses. So this is it. So I guess I better stay off of here while I'm driving with these on since they are a little bit of an adjustment. So I'm off to the Dollar Tree and then me and the pup are heading home to hibernate again and get out of this Hey guys, weather. back home from the eye doctor and from the Dollar Tree. I was going to do the Dollar Tree haul and you know what? I totally put everything away and completely forgot about showing you what I bought. Um, the only thing that's really out that I bought was here in the half bath of which I really didn't show my half bath yet. This is just my half bathroom. And I really don't do a lot of decorating in here for Christmas. Um, but I did find this cute little poinsettia plant at the Dollar Tree. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, other than that, I bought some tissue paper and um, a, a container for cookies and... Um, Oh, I did buy some coffee mugs, but I put them on the dishwasher to be washed, so I can't even show you those. But anyway, for dinner tonight, true Pennsylvania Dutch dinner. Now, I had this in the freezer, um, so I did not make it from scratch today. It was already made for me. But this is called ham and green beans. And one day when I make it from scratch, I will do a how-to video on how it's made. But basically, what you're looking at is leftover ham and potatoes and green beans. It looks like I might need to add a couple potatoes because it looks like I'm just about out. But that is a typical Pennsylvania Dutch one pot meal and it is spectacular. I like to eat mine with a little bit of vinegar on it. Um, and my husband is not a huge fan. I don't understand. He eats ham, he eats potatoes, and he eats green beans by themselves, but you put it all together and he wants to throw a little fit about it. But he's like that with a lot of things. But you know, he has, he's gained 100 pounds since we got married, and obviously it wasn't from eating junk food, it was from eating my good cooking, so obviously you know I cook for taste and not for health. So anyway, that's about it for the night. I'm going to sign off for the evening. Um, not too much happening later tonight, so we're just going to relax, and he goes to bed very, very early. I'm off again tomorrow, so I can stay up a little later, so I'll just be YouTubing probably the rest of the night, me and the dog. So um, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye.